after the election, Americans are still protesting Donald Trump's presidency. With more on this is Pete Davidson. What's up, Pete? We got some fans. Yeah, uh, one. <laughs> How you doing, Pete? I'm doing pretty bad. I'm. I'm doing really bad, actually. Really? Yeah. Well, well, I mean, you know, I know people are bummed about the election, but they ended up legalizing weed in a bunch of states, so that probably cheers you up, right? No, but it should. <laughs> but instead, it's ruined weed for me forever, because Donald Trump being president is something I used to say when I was high and laugh at how crazy it is. And I'm high right now, and it is not funny. <laughs> they said give Trump a chance, and the first thing he did is hire a chief strategist who everybody is saying hates Jews. They said, no, Bannon doesn't hate Jewish people. He's worked alongside them. Yeah, and Mel Gibson did four lethal weapons with Danny Glover. That proves nothing. <laughs> now, do you think there could be any kind of an upside to Trump being president? Yeah, he'll probably reduce crime in the real estate business by no longer working in the real estate business. <laughs> And, and what do you think the worst part of him being president is going to be? Well, now anyone thinks they could run for office. Like, even Kanye thinks he could be president. He's been saying he loves Trump and is going to run against him. Like, he heard people saying this was the greatest threat America's ever faced. And he was like, no, I'm the greatest. <laughs> like, we as a country need to agree that if it isn't over a sick beat, we don't want to listen to anything Kanye West has to say ever again. <laughs> okay? That's crazy. And I'm not innocent. I've said some Kanye-like things. Like, a few weeks ago, I got into a little trouble because I said some things about my hometown, our hometown, Staten Island. Um, I was just kidding around when I said Hurricane Sandy should have finished the job. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, people were mad. But to be fair, I was raised there, you know, so Staten Island should kind of share some of the blame. I mean, it was a pretty Staten Island thing to say. <laughs> and, I was gonna apologize, but then I saw this. This is how the five boroughs of New York voted. You see that big red open wound? That's Staten Island, the herpes of boroughs. <laughs> now do you get it? Now do you see why I can't stand us? Like, this is what I really wanted to say is like, I know a lot of you are upset and scared and sad, myself included, and to everyone feeling that way, I think it's important to hold on to that outrage. Hold on to your anger and frustration and let it build and build so you can release it at the exact right moment. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Your family wanted Trump? Well, this is what they're gonna hear the whole entire day. Hey, Grandpa, can you take a second away from loving Hitler to pass me the potatoes? <laughs> Can't wait to play our annual game of sheets versus skins. Because I'll be on the front lines because I'm having Thanksgiving in Staten Island. So. Pete Davidson, everyone. I was right. People Magazine's sexiest man alive is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. He once again beat his longtime rival, Dwayne The Scissors Johnson. <laughs> I'm so proud of that joke. <laughs> President Obama this week criticized the spread of fake news on social media. But can we really trust a guy who's also a secret gay alien? <laughs> Scientists have discovered a species of millipede that has four of its legs modified to act as penises. And we actually have some footage of the millipede. Let, let's take a look. Ow, 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 ooh. <laughs> a neo-Nazi group has declared New Balance the official shoes of white people. But if New Balances are the official shoes of white people, then what are Crocs? <laughs> a man on an African safari fell off a horse while being chased by a lion. Well, that was a close one, said the horse. <laughs> the dating app Tinder announced a new feature this week which gives users 37 different gender identity options. It's called Why Democrats Lost the Election. <laughs> Well, Thursday is Thanksgiving, and I, for one, am really not looking forward to it. But here to cheer me up is the most optimistic guy I know, my neighbor, Willie. Hey! How you doing? Oh, I just love Thanksgiving. My whole family getting together, sitting around the table, giving me an ultimatum to quit drinking. That sounds terrible. <laughs> 
Yeah, family time is the best part of Thanksgiving, Michael. Reminds me of when I was a little boy, me and my cousins going to our grandparents' house, sneaking a sip of warm, spicy cider from my granddaddy's bedpan. <laughs> Dude. And boy, do I miss my granny's cooking. Oh, you would have loved her famous pecan pie. That crust was so flaky, pecan so juicy, you can barely taste the legs. I can still hear my grandmama now yelling, it's roaches in that pie, will it? That's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> Don't you love watching football on Thanksgiving Day, Michael? It reminds me of when I watched the game on TV with my daddy. He'd point to the screen and he'd say, son, you see that man running with the ball? That's O.J. Simpson. He had sex with your mama, and one day I'm gonna frame him for murder. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, I mean, sure. I may not live a life of luxury. Maybe I don't have a coat or toenails. <laughs> but I do have something that nobody can ever take away from me. Oh, what's that? Outstanding warrants. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Michael, I can't wait to see that Macy's parade again. You ever go there as a kid? I have, actually. You see all those big, pretty balloons? Yeah. I remember every Thanksgiving, my Uncle Joe would show me Woody Woodpecker. And then he'd zip up his pants and drive me down to the parade. Yeah, man, I really can't relate to any of this stuff, Willie. Well, you know who really loves Thanksgiving? My old dog, Lucius. Yeah, every year I take him down to the turkey farm to play with the turkeys. You should see him just wrestling and tumbling, feathers flying everywhere. And if you listen real close, it almost sounds like old Lucius is definitely crying for help. But it's like they always say, Michael, those turkeys is running the train on your dog, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Willie, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.